The sound of overheads depends greatly on where you position them. Some engineers like to position overheads quite close to the cymbals and almost use them like spot mics as we use on a snare and toms and kick drums and to use them just to mic up the cymbals whereas other engineers use overheads to capture the whole of the kit in the room so the overheads are used to pick up this kit as one instrument and also to pick up some of the reflections from within the room to make that kit sound like it's in a room and I've got my overheads here I'm going to solo them and play them and indeed you can hear the sound of the kit in the room and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply uh, channel EQ again and I'm going to use a uh, high pass filter to get rid of the kick drum and some of the fundamental frequencies that I'm hearing from snares and I'll also hear that from the tom as well so I'm going to sort of cut all the low frequencies and I'm going to boost the high frequencies of the cymbals and the hi-hat you can hear how much hi-hat is on the overhead as well so although I've got a hi-hat mic the overheads are also going to pick up hi-hat as well so but something that I need to consider is when I'm setting up my mics for uh, drum recording, how important is the hi-hat? Do I need a mic on the hi-hat or will I be able to capture the sound of the hi-hat on the overheads? So there's my EQ, let's have a listen. So the difference that, that make, that's making is that it's getting rid of the kick drum. And what the effect that will have in the mix is that because I'm getting a lot of room sound with that kick drum, when I add the overheads in without any EQ, I might find that the kick drum, rather than, sits, rather than sit up front in the mix, that it sort of it sits a bit further back because the sound of the kick drum on the overheads uh, adds that reverb that just pushes it back in the mix so it depends what I'm after if I'm after a rock sound and maybe I want to get rid of all the low end on the kick drum but if I am using the overheads like I said to capture the whole kit then maybe I don't need to be extreme and of course there are scenarios where you might uh, be recording say jazz or something like that where you are only using kick snare and overhead microphones and you're not using multiple microphone techniques so this becomes in, more important but in in this scenario i'm just going to cut those frequencies out and now have a listen in the mix That's how I might go about EQing overheads. <laughs> 